Howdy partner. And so as some of you may know, I've just come back from a bit of a road trip, at least so I have, uh, around the USA. Um, we did the Southwest, um, went from Los Angeles up to Vegas, uh, around to the Grand Canyon, around to Monument Valley, Christ National Park, loads of great places. Um, not whiskey country really, but I did find two excellent whiskey locations um, I thought I'd share with you, and I'll share with you this bottle I brought home as well. So, first one is in um, Las Vegas, and it's in the downtown container park, and it's called Oak and Ivy. So, this is a um, old transportation container that's been made into a, a bar. There's also other containers that have been made into shops, being made into restaurants. Um, great place to go and visit if you're ever in uh, downtown Las Vegas. Okay, this is Brian Mark Music in Las Vegas. As you can see, it's a pretty windy, wet day. Where's my hat? Okay, so this is a container park. As you can see, all the buildings are actually made of containers. Um, and there's a big play park in the middle. Really great place for uh, meeting, eating, drinking, got live music on. Most importantly here though, just over my shoulder, there's a little bar called the Oak and Ivy. It's been here for uh, about 15 years now and they've got about 130 whiskies on, mainly American bourbons. Um, great introduction to uh, American whiskey if you're in Las Vegas, come and have a look. Bye. So Oak and Ivy been there about 15 years and they've got about 130 whiskies um, behind the bar. Mainly bourbons but also some Scotch, some Japanese and so on. So the one that I tried there was called Corsair's Triple Smoke. So this is um, a whisky where the barley's been smoked by uh, three different methods, using peat, using cherry wood, and using beech wood. So that was quite interesting. Second place I want to tell you about is Wade's Wine, which is in Thousand Oaks um, near Los Angeles, and that was just amazing. Um, again, little nondescript building, uh, middle of nowhere, specialises in wines. We just happens to have something like 1,400 whiskies um, on sale. When you go in there, they're more than happy for you to try a few. Um, I think I had about five um, small samples of a range of different whiskies. Um, Hill Rock Estate, I had a bourbon and a rye. Uh, House Spirits, I had a Westwood Single Malt. Uh, Strathens, I had a Diamond Peak. Uh, the Refined Rye, I also had some of this. Um, that's why I bought a bottle, so it was great. And then um, out the back they have a bar, so the, the bar lets you pick from a menu again of something like 1400 um, whiskies. I had a great time. So, what did I come away with? Um, this is Russell's Reserve, so it's uh, a wild turkey um, whiskey. It's uh, Kentucky straight bourbon. Um, mash bill on this is something like 75% corn, 13% rye, 12% malted barley. Um, it's no age statement, um, so it's at least two years old. Some people are saying it's maybe seven or eight years old. Uh, this is the uh, single barrel version uh, at 55% ABV. It's been matured in uh, number four alligator charred oak barrels. So when they char the barrel, I think we've talked about this before, the inside of it looks like alligator skin. It's that badly burnt. Uh, so you can see that gives it some of the flavor, uh, some of the color and, uh, and some hints of the flavor as well. So Russell's Reserve is named after the uh, master distiller at um, Wild Turkey, Jimmy Russell. This is the single barrel version, um, so there's a few different ones around. Obviously, single barrel over one's going to be slightly different. This one on the nose, there's lots of uh, maple syrup, orange peel, maybe hints of some cinnamon. You can also um, get an idea that there's some alcohol strength in there, as I said, it's 55%. That's tasty. So you do get the strength here that comes through in, in bagfuls, 55%. Lots of brown sugar, lots of vanillas you'd expect. Um, 
from the alligator char in you get in you know, butterscotch, creme brulee, that kind of thing. It's also a big kick of spice as well, with cinnamon on that. It's just rather nice. So I tried this at Wade's Wine. Um, this guy there called Marty who uh, does all the tastings. Absolute encyclopedia of um, whiskey knowledge. Um, and he tried, a, he gave us a few bourbons, a few eyes to try. This is the one I thought was my favourite on the night, so uh, came out with this. It's quite oily, um, there's a hint of smoke there as well. Um, as I said, lots of creme brulee, butterscotch, that kind of stuff. There's also some, some fruit in there maybe, but it's lovely. I'm not sure if this is available in the UK, but um, if you can get it, definitely worth buying a bottle. Um, or if you're over in, uh, over in the States, you'll you find it in most, uh, most whiskey shops. Okay, I'll just enjoy this for uh, the rest of the evening. Cheers. Please click subscribe, it really helps us when you do that. And click the bell so you never miss a new Triple M and Friends video.